Shane Dawson making terrible, 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 terrible content. You are the problem. You, Shane. If you somehow knew, you just knew that he was molesting kids and you didn't say anything, even though you had absolutely no connection to him and would not be hurt by it in any way, you are part of the problem. You look pretty dumb in this video, dude. It's pretty dumb. I know this video is pretty much cutting me off from ever having any kind of relationship with Shane Dawson ever, ever, ever. And I'm okay with that. You don't- Okay, wait, just- just a second. I know this is probably a pretty confusing image, so let me explain what happened. So I made a critical analysis video on one of Shane Dawson's conspiracy theory videos. It's part of a series he's been doing for a very long time. Within a few hours of me posting it, Shane had seen the video and responded with a tweet. And the response was great. It was pretty much the best I could have hoped for. After going back and forth over Twitter for a little bit, Shane and I decided we wanted to meet each other. And Shane wanted to make that happen. <laughs> So we flew to LA and uh, we recorded this. Please enjoy. So, hey guys, um, I'm here with Shane Dawson. Hi. On the set of his uh, conspiracy theory videos. Set. On the set. Well, it's a, it's a set. You've got things on it. On these conspiracy theory videos, like what kind of research do you normally do for them? Um. A lot, actually. I know it doesn't seem like it. <laughs> it feels like he just searches Facebook for like top 10 conspiracy BuzzFeed clickbait article bullshit. But it usually takes me about eight hours to write one mm -hmm. of the videos, but like throughout the month or whatever, I'm always thinking of things, writing them down, seeing articles, screenshotting them. So it's kind of a process. I agree with what you were saying on your video because mm -hmm. you were like, oh, this isn't like a conspira true conspiracy theorist video and the research and this, and sometimes there's jokes and it's confusing. I always put like entertainment first mm -hmm. when it comes to these videos, which is why I start with the card that says like, this is for entertainment, don't sue me, whatever. Because I genuinely am super interested in conspiracies. That's real, mm -hmm. but the ones I care about are too dark and too crazy for me to talk about, so I keep it light, which is why it's like iPhones. Okay. But entertainment's first. So like, yeah, sometimes I leave out certain facts, most of, all of which I already know. Yeah, yeah. But if I put in too many facts, then it gets boring, and then people aren't like as hooked, and then they're gonna skip. I got you, I got you. So, so you're viewing it more as just like talking about these things that I'm interested in more than conveying a bunch of information to people, right? Yeah, and I throw in jokes because I'm not trying to make people like think everything's evil and <laughs> fucking throw their phones out the doors. Yeah. Like, I want people to be like, oh, ooh, this is kind of cool, oh, this is fun. Okay, I got, you. I got you. And I think the the point that we were the most focused on in the video was just the, the research part of it. We didn't know what, what you were going for with the actual format. It, they were like information videos, but we weren't getting much like information. You know what I mean? It, it was like a mixture of facts and opinions and jokes, and I couldn't tell which was which. But after watching a lot of your videos, it's much more obvious which things are, are, are which whenever you're speaking because you just learn the cadence the way the, a person speaks. So I, I think a lot, a lot of that was not necessarily like a misunderstanding, but like I just didn't have the full context. There are other channels out there that do more infotainment where they really go in depth and they do one conspiracy for the whole video and mm -hmm. they really go in on it mm -hmm. and that's great. But for me, I feel like the audience might get a little bored, which is why I kind of pack it in there and yeah. I leave out lots of things because like trying to pack it all in there. But also I try to, you know, it sounds so gross, but like market. It's YouTube in, t in 2017. That's not gross. Okay. Well, I yeah. try to keep the thumbnails light and like fun and I'm, ooh, with that stupid fucking face that I always use and the fire and the poppy things and the Illuminati bright green. Mm -hmm. Like I try to make it seem like, oh, this is fun. Mm -hmm. This isn't to be taken too literally or seriously. And that word makes me fucking angry. Okay, yeah. Wait, please explain why. Because it's fucking stupid. Oh my god. Sorry. It makes me so fucking angry because I have been obsessed with horror movies and anything spooky mm -hmm. or whatever my whole life. The screen pillow, the horror, it's Wes Craven, all of it, right? For me, horror means something. Mm -hmm. When people say spooky and try to make it cute, and like, oh, I'm fucking with my wooshy hair and it's spooky, it makes me fucking angry because it's a lie. <laughs> with my wooshy hair, it's so spooky. Uh, sorry, I'm getting angry. But really? there are a lot of channels on YouTube who do conspiracy type things things because mm -hmm. maybe they saw me doing it. They're like, oh, whatever. And they do that whole like, oh, spoopy and all this shit. And I'm like, 
do your thing, but it just makes me angry because I don't believe them. And I know you said you don't believe me, and that's yeah. fine. But yeah, well, no, yeah, and here's the thing, is that it's not that I don't believe you, it's that I didn't have any reason to believe you at that time. And, and now that we're talking more, I am starting to believe that more, you know what I mean? That, that, you, that you do- that you, you are do, crazy. Yeah, not that you're crazy, just that you, you do genuinely believe a, a lot of that. When I said that I was trying to slowly incorporate darker stuff, uh, the last year I have been because I am truly interested and fucking enraged by a lot of shit that's happening in Hollywood or whatever. But I told you a few months back in a conspiracy video that there are so many child molesters in Hollywood that are protected. And Kevin Spacey was one of them, I knew. Okay, the Kevin Spacey thing. So in your video you mentioned like, oh, you brought up Kevin Spacey, but that's not a conspiracy theory. And then you just moved on. Mm -hmm. I actually did have another five minute segment where I really went in depth about Kevin Spacey and a director uh, that I'm afraid to say his name because mm -hmm. <laughs> he tends to destroy people's lives. And I cut it all out because I, I didn't want to get sued. And the Kevin Spacey thing, I didn't have a personal connection to him, but if you live in LA or if you've ever even done anything near Hollywood, you know Kevin Spacey has been doing this shit forever. Yeah. And that's all I meant by that. Okay, I got you. Well, that that definitely helps clear that up. Again, it's just that same problem that at the beginning where it's just, there's just so many different kinds of things coming at you at once where if you don't know who you are or, or like how you, how you speak, it, it just gets slightly confusing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it is a little confusing because recently because I've been throwing in darker shit, but not wanting to get demonetized. Yeah. Hasn't worked. <laughs> like, for the example, I did a video that was called like famous kid show theories or something. Mm -hmm. And I did mention something about a kid show, mm -hmm. but the bulk of the video was about all the fucking pedophiles on YouTube and how YouTube is still putting ads on their videos and how it shouldn't be happening. Mm -hmm. You know, people thought I was crazy and then literally two months later, look what happened. All these yeah. channels got deleted, so. It seems like the stuff that you are like really passionate about, I guess they are conspiracy theories, but like they're just like things that are real. Yeah. Like you're saying with the kids channels and the Kevin Spacey stuff, like that's it, that is stuff that people do just know about. I think just seeing the conspiracy theory title attached to it just immediately gave me a perception of like conspiracy theory crazy person. It's under the umbrella like mm -hmm. originally when I did a video about Kevin Spacey and all this stuff I was gonna call it something else but I knew more people would watch it if it was under the umbrella of conspiracy theories and I usually say like this isn't really a theory this is pretty much true this is what happened that way it's like you hook them in with conspiracy theories and you give them a couple mm -hmm. but then you give them you know some really fucking scary truths. Okay that's, that's a really interesting way to, to look at it. A few years ago, I went to doing daily videos, which is something I never did before. I was doing sketches and stuff. And I was overdoing sketches. People were offended by a lot of things. <laughs> so I felt like walking on eggshells a lot. So I was like, well, maybe I should incorporate horror into my channel, because that's my whole life. And so I started doing urban legends and you know scary stories. And then I was like, oh, conspiracy theories. I don't know if that would do well. Mm -hmm. And it didn't. Like my first few did not do well. And I didn't call them conspiracy theories. I tried, I was like, scary. Disney shit? I don't fucking remember, but nobody Scary cared. Scary Disney shit? <laughs> There's a lot of it, uh, and nobody watched them, but I kept doing it because I really liked them. Well, how long have you been doing this now? At least three years, I how think. Long? It's been, I, yeah, it's been a long time. I brought up a, a thing that has happened in your past before that isn't great. You know what I mean? Like it's not it's not a fun thing. He used blackface like a lot. It wasn't something that needed to be brought up in that specific video. It wasn't directly related to anything I was talking about. Right. You know what I mean? The general idea with putting that part into the video was just to kind of add some edge to the video, to make the jokes afterward be more obvious that I was going for like edgy jokes more than like fuck you to specifically you. Yeah. And I and I think that definitely didn't come off the way that I was going for with it? I mean, listen, I'm used to it. I did sketch comedy yeah. years ago. I love playing characters. I didn't think there was anything wrong with putting on a different skin color with makeup. Neither did the audience at the time. Looking back, it's fucking stupid. I shouldn't have done it. I've apologized a million times, genuinely. But like, I know it's something that's gonna be brought up forever. And I've come to the realization that like, yeah, that's the consequence of fucking doing something dumb that I didn't think through. I've lost all my ads on YouTube. I've lost so many brand deals and potential shows or anything because mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. So when you talked about it in the video, mm -hmm. I didn't even blink because I'm like, of course he's gonna bring that up. It's the easiest thing. You Google my name, it's the first thing that pops up. Yeah. It's salacious, perfect, let's put it in there. Exactly. The streamies, I don't know if you saw that, the first joke during the monologue was like, Shane did blackface. I'm like, I get it, like, how many, but it is what it is. But yes, thank you for saying that because that was the only thing where I was like, ah. Like I get the rest of the video and yeah. it was interesting and stuff. And that felt very like, yeah, like, like an easy, yeah, you know. yeah, it's it's an easy jab to make. 
We talked about the merch yesterday in the video we did. What are you wearing? That would be my merch. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. So you, but it's okay to release merch. Oh okay, yeah, totally. It's okay to talk about it. Yeah. Why was it a problem when I did it? I just wanted to clarify like what really that was in the video because I think it came across as I was angry that you were selling merch. The, the main point that I was trying to make was that with how I was saying earlier, how it felt kind of mixed with facts and jokes and that kind of stuff, it was slightly confusing for me. And also it felt kind of exploitative when, you, when you're having these facts and jokes and stuff mixed together without anything really solid from what I'm seeing to back up those things that you're saying. And there's something being sold that is kind of encompassing that misunderstanding for me. And I totally see now that that's not what you were doing with it. Because again, because I, I before I had no connection with you, I didn't know who you were as a person. So whenever you're, I'm seeing this video that I super don't uh, agree with, when I see that at the end of someone selling a thing at the end of that thing, it just immediately makes you kind of kick into like a defensive mode. You know what I mean? Where it's like, yeah. and and I think that is a point where I did get slightly uh, blurred at, at that point because I don't have any problem with someone selling merch. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I, I have merch I sell. Like it, it's fine. I haven't sold merch in years mm -hmm. and I hate putting my face on things. I feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I just hate it. The opportunity came to me. They're like, do you want to do merch? I was like talking to my friend Garrett. I'm like, you know what? I have wanted on my own a pop socket that had the Illuminati symbol. I thought that was cool because mm -hmm. I like what it looks like with the fire and, and all that shit. And then he's like, make those. And I'm like, uh, is that cheesy, whatever. And I'm like, well, no, if I would actually use it, then mm -hmm. I should sell it. In all honesty, and this isn't surprising, but my conspiracy videos, all of them are demonetized. The word conspiracy itself isn't monetizable on my channel, anything. Mm -hmm. So my scary videos don't make money. Really? So, no, and I keep making them because I like them. So mm -hmm. for me, it's like, well, maybe if I do sell these and I promote them in the video, that'll kind of balance <laughs> the fact yeah. that I'm not making money. One thing that I forgot to say in your interview that I fucking wish I would have because it's so funny. I just remembered when uh, YouTube started demonetizing all of my conspiracy videos, I was like, what do I do? And then one of my YouTube contacts goes, <laughs> Well, the word conspiracy is like blacklisted from YouTube. Like they don't, they won't monetize on it. Why don't we change it to spooky coincidences? <laughs> like what? Who's searching spooky coincidences? Like what? I wouldn't sell like a pop socket with the twin towers on it and be like truth question mark. I wouldn't do that. So <laughs> truth. Um, well, and also speaking of merch, I oh have I have a present for you. Wait, really? Let's see. Or is this going to be a gag? No. <laughs> I've got a present for you. Oh, no. Beautifully awesome. wrapped. Oh my god. And now we have matching teams. <gasps> I love this. <laughs> oh my god. I thought I was going to say like fuck face. No, 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 no. <laughs> or like lie. <laughs> now we're now we're officially best friends. There we go. And you know what, honestly, mm -hmm. keeping it super real, not yeah. that they care about this, mm -hmm. but I do, I was talking last night to mm -hmm. my mom mm -hmm. after you left and I was like, I do consider you a friend. Yeah. And like, I also want to like baby you and yeah. like take care of you because you're 20 and I'm old. No, this is really cool and mm -hmm. I'm happy that your video, criticizing me, mm -hmm. led to me opening my mind and also becoming friends. Look at that. Look at that. Got and I have new merch, it's great. New merch, exactly. It's so funny. It's actually cute. Like, yeah, I just tried to get like just super simple with it. I love that. When you first watched the video, what was your like base reaction? I was pooping on Thanksgiving night and my family was in the other room. So I watched the whole thing twice and everybody's like, why is Shane in the bathroom so long? <laughs> just shitting for hours. For hours. And then when I came out, I was like crafting a tweet for mm -hmm. a long time. Because I wanted to say to you like, oh my god, sorry, the coyote's back. Oh yeah. <laughs> he is gonna kill us, please, but he's so precious. Don't. Here we go. Wow. Ooh, there he is. Here I'd he say is. that's spoopy. He's probably ripping the head off a gopher. Oh wow, he literally is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no. Oh my no. god. Wait, do we stop it? I don't, oh no, I think he just ate it. Oh, he, oh my god. Why isn't it moving? I we just witnessed I a just murder. We witnessed the gopher murder. <laughs> I wanted to tweet you something supportive because I did think you were good at what you did. And I love those types of videos like Blair White. Like there's so many YouTubers mm -hmm. in that realm of like reactors that mm -hmm. I love. And I didn't want you to think I was being like passive aggressive. Yeah. So I went through like 20 million different mm -hmm. tweets. Well, it's a great tweet. I mean, whenever you did that, I was like, oh, okay. None of us at all expected it. Not because of you, just because of the kind of video we made. Like people don't have good responses to those. I have no idea how I would respond if someone made a full video like that on me. I mean, I know that's probably gonna happen because of this. 
that's definitely gonna happen. I so was like, waiting for it. Mm -hmm. I literally, two days before I saw it, I said to somebody, I don't remember, I was like, hey, I haven't had a hate video made about me in a while. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody's done one about like my scary videos. Instead, mm -hmm. I'm like exploiting death or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, well, <laughs> oh, well. Like, oh, there it is. <laughs> but you did it in such a, aside from a couple things you said, yeah, yeah. that I was like, ah, oh. it was done well and mm -hmm. I don't know, I liked it. And I was like, oh. If I would have seen that five, six years ago when mm -hmm. I like w was a little more sensitive, I think I would have like cried or been sad. But I'm so old and tired, I just don't care. But you know what, the other thing is, you can cut this out. But the other thing was, what really struck me was when you were talking about like, oh, Shane's this rich YouTuber mm -hmm. or something like that. You were like, oh, he's making a bunch of money and he'll never work with me anyways, who cares? It made me sad because I was like, I don't want you to have that opinion of like YouTubers who are Dude, what, up here, whatever that is. Yeah. I don't want you to think that they're like above you at all because you're so talented and your shit was so good and you deserve more views, which is why I want to do something with you. But also like, I'm fucked too. Like my videos aren't making money. I'm trying to figure out other ways to make money. So I was like, oh, I want, I wanted to show you that like, I don't know, I'm a fucking person. Yeah, totally. I, I well, believed in you, you know? It was very effective. It's definitely been a very like humanizing thing. This is so weird because I, I watched your videos when I was really young. And I watched them till probably when I was like 18-ish, 19-ish, and then I stopped watching a bunch of people because that's when I really got into film. So I was just watching movies constantly. Started getting back into YouTube and stuff, and then YouTube channel started picking up, and then I, I saw your video. So it was just so strange to like have such a gap, and then my, in my brain, you were that Shane Dawson. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? It was only a couple years ago, but like that couple years, it, you, a lot of things change in your life. I mean, you came out in in that time. Yeah. Like that. I, I remember when that happened because I heard about it and I was like, "What the fuck? That okay? Yeah. Okay, that's a thing." Really? That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> no. It's not full gay. It's not <laughs> what is the kind of content that you are like really excited about? Like, what's the kind of stuff that you want to be doing? I want to make movies. I mean, I started YouTube because I had to, because like, I was only on camera because my friends didn't want to be. So I wore wigs and played different characters. Like, I don't like being on camera. I just like writing and directing, so. It's, I know that sounds weird, but I feel like you're kind of the same way, you know? I was just going like, what the fuck? That, that whole answer, so yeah. 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 It's like out of necessity. You're like, yeah. oh, I'm going to do this YouTube thing and use it as like a oh, way wait. to get there. This is why I want to talk to you because you're yeah. young, you're 20. Yeah. Like, YouTube became the thing. Even now I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh fuck, I'm almost 30 and I still haven't made the scary movie I want to make or the things I want to make because I'm doing this YouTube thing keep doing it mm -hmm. But don't forget that big picture, you know? Yeah, totally That's been a, a, a big problem for me too is like you, you want to do these big projects or not even that bigger projects like small movies tiny movies So unbelievably difficult to get made yeah. especially when no one knows who you are if you can At least have people know who, what your face looks like your your chances skyrocket I have so many things I want to do actually now that I'm saying I can't I can't mention either one of the things that I've been working on in this video because both of them are secrets but the, the when the YouTube stuff starts to happen it, it's kind of like addicting it's like oh shit something's finally happening after years and years and years trying to make something yeah. happen so then you just kind of get sucked into it and it is cool it actually is really cool and fun but if it's not the end goal that I, I can totally see how that would be like frustrating and distracting that's why I, I liked your video too because mm -hmm. it was like reminded me that I am better than just doing conspiracies. I love doing them, but mm -hmm. I do want to incorporate more storylines and you know, videos with actual characters and arcs, and that's what I thought we kind of did. The videos we shot for your channel, I'm so excited to see them. I think they're gonna be <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. I mentioned this in our video that we shot, but I want to mention it again. Right after I had released my video, he released the videos about your dad. And those were like incredible. Like they were like really, really good videos. They made me cry. Like I, I had like a, a real moment when I watched them. It was strange because it just felt so real. And I could tell that so many people would watch and be like, he's d doing it because it's just trying to get for views because it's his dad. But like, you seem so g genuine in that because <laughs> there's no way for you to fake it. It did seem like you're like, I guess I'll film this now. Okay, holy shit. Can I just tell you, I hmm. actually was editing that the night that I watched your video. Really? And I I was so scared and sad because I knew, or I thought, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, he's gonna make a video about this dad series and be like, oh, Shane's not genuine, this is fake, he's mm -hmm. pandering, mm -hmm. he's using his family for views. I was like waiting for it. So mm -hmm. when you texted me and you were mm -hmm. just like, I really liked your dad series and stuff, I was just like blown away. Oh, he gets, he gets it. That meant so much to me. I worked so hard on it. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I appreciated it, man. Thank it was, you. it was dope. It was dope. Okay, guys, so yeah, that's. 
that this is a thing that that happened. We did uh, some videos for Shane's channel. If you want to go check those out, the link to them will be down in the description. Also, my brother Nathan made a video kind of documenting the actual journey of us coming here. And also, if you want to buy this, the link to it is down in the description below. <laughs> Thanks for doing the video, man. You know? <gasps> come on. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> is it your conspiracy theory for sure? I've never watched it. <laughs> Wait, you just keep it here on the couch? Yeah. Yes! Literally, I walk in, I put it on. I have been up and down 30 pounds. I'm down right now. Uh -huh. But when I was up, I don't fit into it, so mm -hmm. I have to shoot closer. Mm-hmm. Because, <laughs> like, it looks like a sausage. So let's, uh... I watched it once in a few years. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! That's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Both hey, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nailed it. You can hit me up on Twitter at TheBobbyBurns, Instagram at TheBobbyBurns. My Patreon is down, link in the description. Is down in the link, is there, the link to it is down in the description. And I'll see you, see you later, guys. When did you stop doing? Oh, uh, that was, <laughs> um, I don't know. How many years had to have been at least a year? I went really please. far back. Okay, but say, please give me at least a year. <laughs> please, <laughs> Lord. <laughs>